What's up everybody? Today we are going to be making a helmet and um, some a chest plate with some sheaths to hold my swords. It's really cool. If you enjoy, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, comment down below uh, what content I should do, and share my videos and my channel with your friends. Maybe they'll like it too. So, um, hope you guys enjoy. If you do, I already said that. I'm on an infinite loop right now. Um, <laughs> alright, let's get right into the video. Alright, I've got the main part cut out, which is what goes right here. So I basically just made a COVID mask. <laughs> oh, it looks so stupid. Oh, anyway, so I've made this part. Now I need to make this part, the back of it. So this whole design is based off of this. Probably should say that. I'm gonna mute that. That's copyright. Um, anyway, everything's based off of this helmet. And, uh, this is, this is that main part that covers the face, right? So, this right here. Um, this is gonna be a difficult build because as you can see, the top of it is domed, because all helmets are. That's going to be difficult with cardboard. So I'm going to try, and I might not be able to build that part. Um, I'll try, though. So, this is going to be difficult, but let's get, let's get to it. Alright, so... hard to put on and take off, but so far it's doing well. It's a COVID mask with a back on it. Anyway, um, the dome part, which is this part up here, is going to be the hardest part, which is why I saved it for last. Well, not technically last, but basically last. So this is going to be pretty difficult, and I have a few different ideas. My first idea is to do multiple horizontal layers going like this. My second idea is to do multiple vertical later layers going like this. And my third idea is just making a general cone that like you can do by just having that shape and just folding it up. But it's gonna make it's gonna make a cone like this. But I mean I don't think I'm going to do that third idea. Um, I've been leaning towards the vertical idea. But um, another idea I have is um, doing multiple, like, still horizontal layers. But it's going to be like this, and then it's going to get smaller every time. And it's going to, that one's going to be pretty difficult if I do it. Because then I'm going to have to make it look round when that's not very easy. Um, so I think I'm going to go the vertical idea. So let's get right to it. Alright, so the vertical uh, idea um, did not work, as you can tell. So now I'm going to do the um, horizontal thing where I just completely cut a massive circle out of it. And then make it smaller and smaller um, because that's the next best thing. I don't want to do the horizontal thing where everyone is angled because that's going to be really hard to do but if it comes to that then I'll do that. So let's get right to it. Naturally I have to do the hardest thing because the uh, ring idea doesn't work because I still need space for my head because when this helmet is here, the top of this, for right now, goes to about right here. Uh, which is not good, because that means I can't make that ring without it, you know, cutting my head off. So, we're gonna have to do that other horizontal uh, ring idea. It's gonna suck, but I have to do it. So let's just get this over with. Five minutes later. Alright, so the helmet is basically done. I've got 
these little things right here. Um, let me find the helmet. There it is. So I've got the thing that goes on the nose done. I've got the um, little sharp point, and I'm working on the fins now. So this right here is the top fin, and it's going to go, hold on, let me position this right. It's going to go right here. So, so far, it's looking really good. Um, and then I'm going to cut out the side fins in a little bit. I mean, this is definitely my favorite build so far, I gotta say. The first build was a complete fail. It was more like a, um, test video, I guess, just to see what style I liked, what style of video, and also, um, how I should make my weapons. So it's, it was definitely a good start. But, um, now I'm gonna go cut the fins out. <sighs> Cleaning up. This is gonna take forever. Five minutes later. Okay, so, as you can see, I got a big box, let me check, I can probably blur that out, um, I made the helmet, let me go get it, so before I tell you what the next thing I'm gonna build is, um, here, is the helmet. Hold on, let me. Where's this side that doesn't have private information? This side. Right? Yeah, that doesn't have anything bad. Keep dry. It is cardboard, so that makes sense. Why is this wet? Whatever. This is the helmet. Comment down below if, if you think that the helmet is similar to this helmet. The, what should I call it? Toy brick helmet, let's say. Um, but yeah, comment down below. I think it's pretty good. It's got the fins. Keep hitting my hands on them, like a lot. These are glued pretty well in the angle that they're at. Um, this is off-centered, I know, but whatever. Can't fix it now that I've glued it in. I've got the face guard, which you might not be able to hear me very well, so I'll do it like this. Um, we've got the helmet. It's, it looks pretty good in my opinion. So, uh, let me... I think it looks pretty good, but hopefully you could hear my voice on that part. If you couldn't, then I, I can probably fix that in the editing. Um, but yeah, comment down below how good this is. Now I'm going to tell you oh, there it is, uh, what my next build is going to be. So, you guys know this sword, hopefully. 
Um, it's my most recent video other than this one, the helmet video that I'm recording right now. And as you can see from the thumbnail, there is a chest plate. Now, I need that chest plate because connected to it is going to be a, uh, what's it called, sheath that can hold my sword when it's in its one sword form and when it's in its two sword form, which is going to go on either side of my waist. It's going to be pretty cool. Um, so let's get right to that. This is crazy. How funny. I cannot fully fit in this. Whatever. We're good. So, guess I could put this away and work on the um, sheath. First I'm going to work on the sheath. I'm not sure if I'll actually make the chest plate connected to it or just like a separate thing that I put on top of it. So I'll see on that. Alright, so, um, so far, I have done this, there we go, I can now take the mask off, which is very useful, let me tell you. Huh. Um, it's the sheath right here, um, okay, so, the two sword form, take this off, this is uncomfortable. <laughs> um, a two sword form is pretty good, but the one sword form is terrible. Like, it's so hard to put in and take out. Um, but the two sword form is pretty good. Um, very useful. I use this hand and I just go. Sometimes it does that where it catches on the little velcro thing right here, but I mean, other than that, it's pretty good. Putting in it in is definitely way easier than taking it out, but... So, yeah. That's the sheath. Now, I'm going to make the chest plate that goes on this. It's going to look pretty good. Um, so let's get right to that. Alright, so I have um, wrapped this sword in tape. I'm going to wrap the other sword in tape. Um, and right now, I'm working on making the chest plate for the sheath. Which is going to be very hard. Uh, one, because the design is probably going to look terrible. And two, because I'm going to have to figure out the right angle. So then it's not, like, crooked. Because, I mean, the sheath goes on me diagonally. So it's going to be really hard to get that angle right. But if I can, then it'll look cool. So, let's go work on that. Alright, so, I have finished the build. This is the chest plate right here. Looks pretty good. I tried to make it look torn up, as you can see. It's 
it's got like the little design right here and then it has the, like torn bits so it looks like it's used and then I've got the two swords right here um, the helmet is pretty cool because I can uh, take it off and put this part on so then it's not uncomfortable putting it on but I think it looks good tell me in the comments down below what you think and I'll see you guys next time Alright, so I have completely wrapped this entire sword in- <laughs> Shut up!